Hi, this is Dr. David Klein from Stages of Life Medical Institute in Longwood, Florida. What I'd like to discuss with you is quality and why this might be necessary, whether it's quality in materials, quality in management, quality in personnel, quality in education. But quality is an important thing to remember. Now, not many years ago, not many at all, actually, when you went into Walmart, you looked up and there were American flags, and right next to them it said, Made in America. Everything here is made in America. You know, I don't know where they put those flags, because it's not made in America anymore. You can go out and you can buy these LED bulbs for your house and be a good American because it's going to decrease your power bill and spend a few hundred dollars. It's, you only have to spend it once because they're going to last 20 years. They're lifetime guarantee, right? Okay, I hope you bought a bunch of them because they wear out after about a year or at least half of them will. And so are they lifetime? The lifetime of a gnat, perhaps a monarch butterfly, but certainly not your lifetime or your house's lifetime. So quality counts. It's been a long time since we've made light bulbs in the United States, wouldn't you know? Most of them are made by maybe child labor. Who knows what it is if you are so inclined to to want things done by cheap labor. This is what you're going to get. Now, the sad thing here is our pharmaceuticals are also made in the same place where these LED light bulbs are coming from. And if you think that it's tricky to make an LED light bulb, you try making a pharmaceutical so that it doesn't kill people or do damage. You know, the lawsuits looking at, you know, you know oh, the meloxicam, not the, uh, oh, Prilosec, Omeprazole. Okay, there are medications that are very, very helpful. That's one of them. But there are materials that can sometimes become embedded in them that can be cancer generating. Carcinogenic is the doctor word. Well, when you buy cheap, you get cheap. It's the way it's going to be. In medicine, it's the same way. So where are we getting our uh, diagnostic equipment from? You want to know? It's not made necessarily in Teaneck, New Jersey. It's made in South Korea. And when it's not made in South Korea, it might be made in India. When it's not made there, it's made in China. The chemicals are made in very much the same way. So we are at other people's, other cultures, um, we're, we're, we're really operating under their thumb. There are times and places where this will work, and there are times and places where it won't work. We have medical personnel in this country, lots of them. You wouldn't you know we have lots and lots of doctors. Why don't you necessarily find out where they trained? Okay, this is also a quality issue. To go to medical school in this country, you have to be pretty much the top of your class. To go through medical school in certain places in Asia, your check has to clear, or your parents have to be of a certain class or caste. This is a very, very important thing to understand, is that when you're going out there, you're going to hear things, you're going to see things, you're going to be treated in a particular kind of way, and you always have to ask yourself this question. Is this the type of quality that I should expect? Better, is this the type of quality that I've earned? Is this the type of quality that I've paid for? And if you can answer, well, yeah, it, you know, more times than not, you don't even realize how you're being screwed. So look at the, at the products that you've got, understand the training of the individuals involved, and then think really, really hard about what you're doing and who you're listening to. This is particularly true in medicine. It's especially true in medicine in the hospital setting. Scares me too. This is Dr. David Klein, Stages of Life Medical Institute, afraid for what we've got. Have a good day.